Hi everyone. In a previous video, I presented the expectation operator used in stats and econometrics, and I showed you how to use these rules. So as a revision, the expectation of a constant is a constant. The expected value of a constant times a random variable is the constant times the expected value of the random variable. And this third one showing you that the expectation operator is a it's a linear operator. Now, can such rules are there such rules similar rules for the variance variance operator denoted by var okay what's a uh, variance of a constant now I bet some of you are thinking to yourself here the constant a because I always have students saying that the answer is no the answer is it's zero. Intuitively, why? Does a constant vary? No, a constant, as the name suggests, is fixed, it's constant. So there's no variability in a constant, so the variance of a constant is zero. How about the variance of um, a constant times the random variable? Now again, I know some of you will be try this, a times the variance of x because it looks to be similar with the expected value of ax but the answer is no it's a squared times the variance of x and then finally variance of ax plus by well I won't ask you to guess this one it's a squared times the variance of x plus b squared times the variance of y plus two, something called the covariance 2 times the covariance of x and why? Now, in many introductory stats textbooks, you will see that they will say that um, let x and y be independent, and then this third term, the covariance, disappears. Because uh, if x and y are independent, the covariance, which is a number, this covariance turns out to be zero. So you typically just see variance of ax plus by equal to a squared t times the variance of x plus b squared times the variance of y but that's only true if the covariance of x and y is zero. Let's have a look at a few examples to show you how the variance operator works. Okay, we have variance of x is a half, variance of y is two, the covariance of x and y is one. We want to find the variance of two times x now, solution. Variance of 2 times x. We're looking at a variance of a constant times a random variable. The rule says that the constant comes out and is squared. 2 squared times the variance of x. Substitute the number in. 2 squared is 4 times the variance of x. It's a half. Answer is 2. Next, the variance of x plus y. Okay. The rule says that this is the variance of x plus the variance of y plus two times the covariance of xy. Put in the numbers, variance of x, a half, variance of y, two plus two times the covariance of xy, which is one, four and a half. Now I want to conclude by uh, making two remarks. First, Variance of so going back to this, so the variance of x plus y we know is this. What happens if we want the variance of x minus y? Does the formula, does the equation here change? Yes, it does. It's going to be the variance of x plus the variance of y, so that remains unchanged. But here, instead of adding two times the covariance, you subtract two times the covariance. Okay, next. Next, I want to have a kind of a very brief mention about this term, the covariance. Let's look at the variance of 5 plus x. Well, then applying the rule here, we get variance of x plus variance of 5 plus 2 times the covariance of 5 
and x. And this is equal to the variance of x plus the variance of constant we know is zero plus this is the other result here the covariance of a constant and a random variable will be zero to be explained um, in another video. Variance of a covariance of a constant and a random variable is zero. So it's the answer is variance of x. Intuitively that should make sense to you because look you asked here what is the variance of you take a random variable and you add to each number in that random variable um, that belong the numbers that belong to that random variable you add the con the number five. So imagine you've got a whole load of uh, data values, say five as an example five one two three one and say these are these are uh, members of x. Then what you're saying is add to each number five and then look at the variance of the new set of numbers. So we have um, ten five plus one is six seven. 10, 6, like that. What is the variance of this set of number compared to this? Well, intuitively, you would answer it, it remains unchanged because all the numbers are shifted by the same amount. That does not affect the spread of the numbers about the mean, which at the end of the day is what the variance is measuring. Okay, great. So today we've looked at the variance, rules of the variance operator and presented some examples. I've shown you that they're easy to apply, but just like for the expectation operator, you have to kind of commit these rules to memory. And indeed, in some courses, you'll be expected to prove all six of these results. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Phil, your statistics mentor.